what's up guys, it's the iPod Touch 511 here with another video, and what I have for you today is an iOS 4.2 Goldmaster overview, um, demonstrated on the iPod Touch, um, but it can also be related to the iPhone, iPad, and of course the iPod. So let's get started, and these features here are going to be based on the iPhone and iPad and of course the iPod. So say I'm in a web page, I'm just on Apple.com right now. Um, the bottom menu bar has changed a little bit. Uh, the plus sign in the middle has changed from that to this new icon which is more of a box with an arrow in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap that and as you can see it shows all my icons like it did before except it added the new print icon. This is a new thing Apple calls AirPrint, and what you can do is you can select your printer, which I do not have a wireless printer right now, but I'm going to hopefully get one soon. You can change your copies, and then you just simply hit print, and it is easy as that. Now, while I'm in Safari, I'm going to go ahead and show you this new thing. Uh, go to your Google bar up there, and I'm just going to type iPod, uh, search and then, whoop, don't hit search, sorry. Uh, go back to, let me go back to my Google. And go all the way down to the bottom. And then, a uh, new option says, on this page, 27 matches. Then click Find iPod, not search. And then, let's see, zoom out. And then up here, see, it says, it highlights the uh, words that say iPod in this page. Down here you can click the next button so it will take you to the other um, words that say iPod on this page. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, it may be helpful for some people but I'm not sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, let's see. AirPlay I'm not going to be able to show you because I do not have a compatible device again such as an Apple TV, but it'll work pretty much just stream music from your iPhone or iPod and it'll play on the Apple TV. Um, multitasking, I'm going to show you more for more emphasis on the iPad than the iPhone and iPod Touch. It has been around since 4.0, but of course the iPad has not received it until the 4.2 update, which is coming soon. Uh, you access it the same way. Sorry, just double tap your home button. And then the multitasking bar appears. And on the iPhone and iPod Touch, it displays four apps at a time. And on the iPad, it shows six apps in portrait mode and seven in landscape. Um, it'll work the same as the iPhone and iPod. Just tap the app that you'd like to switch to. Now over here on the iPad, there will be a little bit of a difference. The orientation lock is now down in the multitasking bar, and the little side switch on the iPad is now a mute switch. Also on the iPad, you're going to have a brightness slider and a volume slider in the multitasking options. Now over here on the iPhone and iPod Touch, they have added a volume slider. Not a brightness slider. Mm -mm. That's kind of kind of made me a little bit, you know, jealous of iPad users because they uh, get a little bit more in the multitasking bar. But oh well, maybe Apple will add it eventually. Um, so let's go ahead and move on. Uh, folders. I'm going to show you. This has been around since 4.0. Uh, but again, it's just now coming to iPad. So here I have a, just two games that I pre-made for the video. Uh, alright, alright, say I'm in my home screen, and I want to, uh, put Tap Tap Revenge in that folder. I just drag it in, on top of my games folder, and I can rename it if I want to. Just click the X and type in whatever I want the name to be. And of course, just click your home button when you're finished, and there you have a folder. 
Um, so now I'm going to show you a new voice memos icon. It is now a blue icon rather than the red and black one. Uh, it works exactly the same as it did before. As you can see, it looks the same on the inside of the app. Uh, just record, uh, see your previously recorded memos, and things like that. Um, let me show you another thing. It's in notes, but first for emphasis, let me go into Safari, not Safari, uh, settings, and they've added a notes option or a notes tab, and you can actually change the font of your text. So I'm just going to go through and show you. Alright, here's chalkboard. So let's go over to my notes, and here we have it. Hi. Just let me type just some random letters so you can see a little bit better. Zoom in. And then let me multitask over to the settings. Switch it to Helvetica. Uh, back to notes. So you can see the font just changed. Back over to settings. Change it to Markerfelt. And uh, Markerfelt is or was the default for 4.1, excuse me, and uh, previous versions of the iOS or i or excuse me, operating software for the mobile devices, and it switched to Marker Felt. Um, so that's neat. If you want to switch your font in Notes, and you're getting kind of tired of Marker Felt. Um, let's see. Another thing I'm going to show you is in the App Store. And now, um, say I am just looking for Game Center applications. Tap on an app. And as you can see, let me zoom in on this for you. You now have a Game Center little icon right there indicating that it is indeed a Game Center app. So you have no questions on that if you are looking for Game Center applications. Um, that's very helpful, especially for people who are searching for games a lot. Um, and another thing that I'd like to show you is, uh, or not really show you, but uh, explain to you, um, contacts, you can put in ringtones for specific contacts, um, like the iPhone. Um, you can set SMS uh, specific tones for the uh, iPhone text messaging, uh, your uh, your contacts on your iPhone, and even on the iPod Touch fourth generation, you can set a ringtone for FaceTime or for incoming FaceTime calls. One last thing I'd like to show you is YouTube. Finally, there's an update. Um, now you can see or you can like videos. Let me just get on one of my videos real quick. Okay. Um, so, here I am in my little video description here. Uh, here we go. Rate, comment, or flag. So, let's just click rate or comment. Now, finally, you have the liking option. option. Uh, I just tried to click like, and it says that I can't like my own video, but... Oh well, so you click like, just click send, and then you'll be able to comment. And that's very cool now. Also, it tells you the percentage of how many people liked your video. So, I'm not sure if you can see this one, but right here it says 100% like. So, that's pretty useful. Or, uh, nice to have. Um, that's about all that I can show you right now. Um, so thanks for watching and click the like button and uh, comment and rate and subscribe and see you in the next video.